Hi everyone! For today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this Honey Rose makeup look. Let's get started! First, we're going to start off with primers for our face and eyelids. For foundation, I'm using this hydrating one from Laura Mercier. Now I'm setting the face with some powder. I'm going to quickly fill in my brows, but if you want to see a full brow routine, I will link it in the info card. Moving on to eyes, we're going to start off with a light shimmer color and apply that all over. Now I'm taking an orange shade and applying that to the outer corner of my eyes. This will give some color and dimension to the overall eye look. Next, using two different pen liners, I'm going to draw a thin winged line as I usually do. I first like to use the dolly wink one to mark the end of the wing. It's an older liner that doesn't come out as strong so I don't have to worry too much about making a mistake and if I do, it's easier to wipe off. Then to draw and fill in the rest of the wing, I'm going to use this M Cosmetics one. It's newly opened and has lots more pigment and product left so it comes out nice and dark. Now we're going to start drawing the top line using the same orange eyeshadow color from earlier. I love using Sigma's winged liner brush for this because it's super thin and precise and gives me lots of control. I'm drawing the line over my eye socket area and if you have monolids like me, you can find this spot by tilting your head down and looking up. And if you have a completely different eye shape, I recommend playing around with different placements to see what works best for you. I like to create another winged line towards the end by following the direction of the first line. That's why I wanted to draw that first. Here I'm just softening the line a bit with a fluffy brush and trying to spread the color out for a diffused look. Next I'm taking a brown shade on the same brush and just going over the line we created. We want this line to be precise so we're not going to soften it at all. Now I'm taking a darker shade of brown and only applying that to the outer half of the lines. This is going to create a really nice gradient. Now I'm using a flat angled brush to help soften and blend the dark brown with the rest of the line. This helps to make the gradient more seamless and flow better into the lighter colors. I'm taking my brown pen liners again to intensify the outer corner of the line. This helps to match the intensity of the winged liner we drew. And again, using a flat angled brush, I'm gonna blend the colors together. For the lower lash line, I'm first taking a light orange color and applying that all over. This helps to balance out the top of the eye with the bottom half of the eye. Then I'm taking the dark brown shade from earlier and only applying that to the outer half of the lower lash line. For lashes, I'm using Ardell Wispies. And don't forget to curl your lashes too. Moving on to contour and bronzer, I'm going to first contour my nose and then move on to the rest of my face. For blush, I'm going with a light neutral matte shade. For highlight, I'm using this one from Charlotte Tilbury and first applying it to the inner corner of my eyes and I'm going to blend it upwards towards the line. This highlight is amazing and one of my favorites. I actually don't know why I stopped using it for a bit. I usually add highlight down my nose bridge, but I totally forgot, so I'm just adding it to the tops of my cheekbones this time. Lastly, for lip color, I'm using a nude shade that doesn't take away from the eyes. And here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This look was really fun to do and might be one of my all-time favorites. If you recreate the look, please tag me on Instagram at HeySandyLynn so I can see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! In a time